I'm sorry I'm late. Oh. You started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on! Dr. Davis, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Let's see what's wrong with you. circuit burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre-check, I would have caught this. Got it. Okay, need to reroute servo control. Nice. Okay, what next? And now rebalance the voltage. Finished. Let's see if that worked. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials.
All right. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. How many lab fires have we seen now, Otto? Three? Four? That's how you know we're progressing. Out of the ashes of failure, great science is born. I don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. Make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. That's a steam company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri, anything. I'm on my way. Uh, looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. I wonder what my number one fan thinks about the Fisk takedown. This is Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two times! Two times. Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey! Plug the book! And, and as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Speak. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fisk, right? I mean, one last mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? A prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no. I'm a plumber. Oh, good. Then fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. As soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the street, but does that whip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. He got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So until that gang war starts, I'm on the web head side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! <sighs> Someday, Jonah. I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. Someday. Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Until an hour ago. The well, system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. I'll figure it out later. Right now we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Let's take a look at this tower. The input bands have been shifted. Subtle. We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great. I've got units nearby. Don't bother. I'm on it. Do it! Watch 
my back. Pretty sure these guys didn't forget their keys. Okay, wrapped up. Thanks for that. Now I'm seeing an assault near you. You're in luck, Yuri. Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled scene too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any- Spider cop. Please, no. So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off! Leave me alone! Keep me quiet, lady. Don't touch me! Get away from her! Oh, crap! Spider-Man! Get over here! Oh. She's winding up! <laughs> Walk away now, or she's dead! Let me go! All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I could take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. Haven't had any... in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, spider guy. It's spider man. Oh well. Should be able to spot the next tower from up there. From his elevated position, Spider Cop spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you... narrating yourself? What? No, of course not. The Chief never did understand Spider Cop. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. I can modify these towers to track more than just crimes. Score! Towers are picking up all kinds of RFID signals now, including one nearby. What is that? Tracking dots to these. I 
wonder how many of these are scattered around the city. The menu from my first real date with MJ. Wish I could have afforded someplace fancier. But she didn't seem to mind. Still there? Got a robbery a few blocks away. Spider cops on it. Part man, part spider. Oh, cop. Ugh. Fellas, ah! Spider Man, shoot him. Part of a legit job, you wouldn't need to be criminal. All right, Yuri. I'm gonna repair the last Chinatown tower now. Don't you mean Spider Cop's gonna repair it? Been doing a little thinking, Yuri. Policing's a young man's game. And Spider Cop, well, he's no spring chicken. Please be going where I think you're going. As of today, Spider Cop is officially retired. Oh, thank God. I need a drink. We'll all drink tonight, Yuri. Drink to the memory of Spider Cop's tireless... Yuri? Yuri, you there? Uh, guess the emotion of the moment overwhelmed her. Not good. Can't have people taking pictures of my three chest hairs. Tools I need for suit repair at the lab. Wonder if Dr. Octavius is left for the day. Doctor, how did it go with the committee? I'm so sorry I screwed things up. Not at all, Peter. They're just nervous in the face of imminent triumph. They'll calm down. They always do. Should I head back to the lab for cleanup? No, no. I'm stepping out for dinner anyhow. We'll resume tomorrow. Short break, then back to creating the future. I wish I could bottle and sell that man's optimism. Sounds like he's left the lab for the day. Good time to work on my suit in private. <laughs> 